Hello everyone, welcome to Craving Solutions. So today we have our Nissan Leaf and we came to it and couldn't jump, well, couldn't get it started at all. Uh, we got the jump starter right here and we connected it and we tried to get our car started um, as shown here. This is the jump starter. Uh, we connected it. Um, it's a portable one and we could, we just couldn't get it started. No matter what we were doing, it just, it just wasn't working. So um, what we ended up doing as a result is uh, we um, actually after we connected it, we, we got uh, the dashboard showed zero battery, like the main battery, the main core battery for the car showed zero. Um, it made us think that this thing was completely dead. Now, unfortunately, we're in a position where we can't plug it in at all. So what were we to do? So the only thing that I'm going to give you guys advice for is if you guys have access to a, uh, po a power generator or a, po a battery power, like a, a po portable battery through um, a portable power station, like the battery ones, the big ones, um, any one of those, and then you can at least plug in your car and, and, and try to get it working. Now, another situation you guys are going to enter, if, if, if the accessory battery is dead, um, you're not gonna and the main battery is dead. You're not gonna be able to open this unless you get, have a jump starter You connect your jump starter You take out your the the remote for the car again this Nissan Leaf any electric car whatever it may be and you open your uh, your charging um, door or um, port So I have it connected here. We have a boost button as well, but just the regular connection should be just enough to at least get you to um, open it so we opened it up and now we can actually uh, charge a car now luckily for us we didn't actually have a luckily for us we didn't have a problem with the actual main battery itself we thought we did but we didn't there was nothing wrong with the actual main battery so what ended up happening is we connected the power station right here we connected the power station to the car and you're gonna see you're gonna hear a noise as soon as you connect it okay so we we heard the noise come on um, after we plugged it in and then also excuse the noise obviously we're on the road here um, so once we had once we we heard the noise um, we weren't seeing that it was blinking at all and i wasn't sure what was going on and i'm going to explain how to get that working here in a moment but luckily for us um, i just we went inside and we pressed the boost uh, we pressed the boost a couple of times um, giving an extra jolt of energy to the accessory battery and uh, all of a sudden it started showing us the actual uh, battery uh, it showed us that we had like 59 miles and it showed us that we had a strong battery I forgot what the percentage was but uh, it showed us the battery uh, level and um, how much miles we had left and we were uh, we then quickly disconnected the the power sta the the plug from the car and we quickly quickly uh, disconnected the uh, jump starter and we were actually able to start the car without a problem and we got it started but in the event that you're not as lucky as we are and um even though you tried to jump start your accessory battery or you, just, or you got tricked into thinking your battery was completely dead um and uh it turns out for you that it is actually completely dead what you're going to want to do again we're going to take our um power uh, station right here um, and you're gonna take a look at it it's actually blinking green okay uh, and what what is telling you is it because it wants to make sure that there, that it's grounded and that's why it's not working so um, there's there's things that you guys can get and I'm gonna link them in the description that can uh, link both the ground and the neutral to at least make the device believe that it, it's connected but for me, I had a tester and the tester will do the trick as well. All you gotta do is plug it in. And once you plug it in, you're gonna, you're gonna get that. But, um, and it's telling you it's charging right now. And um, yeah, so it's, right now it's charging the car. So that's basically all you guys need to do. Obviously it's gonna quickly start to zap that battery. It's at 92%. Uh, but that's all, that's all you would need to do at this point to at least get your car to like 1% or 2% just enough to get it somewhere where you guys can uh, charge it. Now, uh, another piece of advice uh, for you guys, um, we're gonna walk over over here. Um, if you guys could not, um, if you guys couldn't even get your plug, like for us, it was in the trunk. And nowadays, obviously, you, you, you know, uh, by the way, I mean, to get the key out, you just, there's the button right here, so you can get the key out in case anybody needs to see that. If I can pull it out, there you go. And just let's come around. 
and again you just you just put it in like so and you open the car okay oh it has battery obviously right now and then you're gonna have reach back now for us the trunk we couldn't you can't open the trunk so what you're gonna want to do is reach in there and get this door open right here um, hold on guys All right, and then um, just in case, I mean, sh sh most of you that own a Leaf or have another car, there's usually a way to open the back row, which you can just do like so. There's a lever right here. You just pull that lever and you open the back and, and you can access your charger. Um, hopefully this information helps you guys out um, to get your car started. Um, again, um, if you missed any part, just watch from the beginning again. Uh, this should get you guys started uh, and uh, get you guys to a place where you can charge your car because again if you're on the road like this there's just really no other way you got you got to charge your car somehow also something to mention it is not recommended to put your car in neutral and to push it uh, your car should have um, it could uh, destroy your powertrain that's what I let read at le least I'm not hundred percent sure myself so make sure you guys just um, get it, get it, get it enough charge at least to where you guys can get it somewhere uh, through a, a, a power generator, a power station, whatever you guys can get your hands on. Um, and you're gonna obviously again need a, a jump starter as well, so you can get that accessory battery going. As always, thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. It motivates me to make more videos. I hope this is useful to some of you. Uh, take care until the next video.